Can you become smarter just by taking a pill? Bioengineered supplements with grand claims of boosting brain power and sharpening focus. Scale of one to 10, how much smarter do you feel on nootropics? 10. Being distracted and unfocused is simply not an option in today's work climate. It messes with your goals and work targets, and pits you at risk of losing out on a promotion, missing a deadline, or producing less than ideal results. So as the world becomes increasingly work-oriented and efficient, cognitive enhancers are the new supplement of choice for people who need to be constantly switched on, from actors and singers to CEOs and entrepreneurs. Anybody who wants to climb the ladder wants a booster, along with their daily vitamins. You've probably heard of nootropics. More and more people today are relying on it to increase their cognitive functions and energy levels. And celebrities have jumped on the bandwagon too, openly admitting to using these drugs. In fact, there has been a shift in how people view and use this class of drugs. Where previously celebrity athletes would take this in private, today they endorse the drug and popular figures like President Barack Obama have admitted to using it. If you don't know what nootropics are, it's anything natural or synthetic that enhances mental performance in healthy people. The most popular one is coffee, which is the most widely consumed psychoactive substance in the world. This also includes Bacopa monnieri, which is an ancient Ayurvedic herb that speeds up information processing in the brain. But we're talking about pills, synthetic form drugs like Adderall, which helps treat ADHD, and Memantine, which treats symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. So you can see why so many people are becoming more and more open to the idea of popping a pill to improve mental abilities. However, others still have concerns and questions about them. How do they work? What are the side effects? And do they need to be prescribed by a doctor? Well, there are two types of nootropics, over-the-counter and prescribed nootropics. The prescription type is usually prescribed to cure a specific medical condition. In most cases, these pills act as stimulants and should be taken with caution under the advisement of a doctor. Over-the-counter nootropics, however, are less rigid and likely some you take already. Things like coffee, omega-3 fatty acids, certain protein shakes, and workout drinks all count as nootropics. So if you're wondering, have I ever had any? Chances are, you have. And you aren't alone. Your favorite comedians, actors, and inventors all need supplements to keep themselves sharp. But before we take a look at which famous celebrities openly talk about using nootropics to enhance their brain functions, let's take a look at some benefits of nootropics. There is no doubt that nootropics help you stay alert and fresh for whatever task you need to do. It's essentially what coffee does, but it comes with a side effect of jitters for some people. Well, for all the good they do, synthetic nootropics come with their fair share of side effects too. Armadafinil, for example, helps you stay awake, but can cause headaches. Similarly, ampicines can provide long-term improvement in cognition, memory, and learning, but can dampen your motor functions. Even natural nootropics like the Bacopa monnieri, while enhancing your memory and reducing your anxiety, can cause stomach cramps, dry mouth, and nausea. Whether it's worth it is a purely subjective matter. But celebrities who endorse nootropics also take care to make the side effects and meanings of the products clear. Take Joe Rogan, for instance. While he may not have started it, he is undoubtedly the king of podcasting. His podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, is downloaded over 200 million times a month, and this earned him an impressive $30 million last year. Apart from being the host of an uber-famous podcast, Rogan is also a UFC commentator and a stand-up comedian who tours regularly. How does he have time to do all that and still go hunting, do jujitsu, and take care of himself? This does something. It gives me like some boost, some mental boost. It just makes sense. As you might have guessed, Rogan uses a smart drug to maintain his laser-sharp focus on whatever he does. In fact, Rogan does not shy away from praising the use of nootropics, both on his podcasts and during interviews. One of the immediate things that I noticed was that I had a better recall of words. That's the frustrating thing where you're like, what is the word, what is the word, what is the mm -hmm. word? That wasn't happening as much. And my ability to form sentences seemed smoother. It seemed like I had an extra gear, like I was one step ahead of conversations. Rogan's journey to smart drugs started when he used Nutrition 53 Neuro One which is a powdered drink mix. Ever since, 
he has been hooked on supplements and has been using a wide range of them. His list of cognitive enhancers includes the Four Sigmatic Lion's Mane Elixir. The Lion's Mane Elixir is known to improve memory and concentration, and it can be mixed into coffees and teas since it's in powder form. Another popular user of nootropics is the creator of the 4-Hour Workweek, Tim Ferriss. If you work online, chances are you know him or have seen his content. He consumes Lion's Mane Mushroom, which is a popular solution for people who want to improve their mental abilities and prevent cognitive decline. This is Lion's Mane and Chaga plus instant coffee. This will extremely impact your cognitive and mental state. So I would suggest starting with a half dose if you go for this. He also consumes yerba mate, which is a tea acquired from a flowering tree in South America. Although the tea is usually used for increasing alertness, it also claims to burn fat and suppress appetites. Silicon Valley tech entrepreneurs are on the bus too, with legendary Dave Asprey, founder of Bulletproof, chugging fistfuls of supplements every morning to stay ahead of the competition. And it turns out Mother Nature apparently wants us to be higher performance because she makes a couple really potent smart drugs and you might even have used one or both of them. In fact, Asprey has spent over $300,000 on smart drugs in the last 15 years, but he says it's entirely worth it. As you can guess, Athletes gain a lot more from these drugs than regular people do. For example, professional ice hockey defenseman Duncan Keith uses nootropics to maintain his razor-sharp focus while out on the ice. He swears by it, so much so that he went on to create an ad campaign for On It. He says that nootropics have helped him stay mentally focused without losing his ability to perform in one of the most physically demanding sports on ice. Similarly, NFL player Andrew Sandejo consumes on its alpha brain before his meetings to keep him mentally checked in during game planning. With everything one has to deal with while navigating social media, careers, and relationships, it's no wonder that so many people are starting to rely on these drugs. A study conducted by Microsoft revealed that people's attention spans have dropped by 33% in just two decades. But some don't want to be a part of those statistics and essentially hack their brains with a supplement called Alpha Brain. Made by Onnit, a health and nutrition brand, Alpha Brain is for those who want to keep their memory strong, promote mental clarity, and boost focus. The dietary supplement provides daily cognitive support without caffeine and gluten, and it also claims to be keto and paleo-friendly, in addition to being nut-free and boosting mental speed and focus. Some have reported that it starts working just 30 minutes after consumption, and for some, it takes a good two hours. It has had enough rave reviews to be heavily featured in the media. Entrepreneur, Forbes, Men's Health, and the Men's Journal, just to name a few. So the big question, is it worth it to spend hundreds, if not thousands, on nootropics like on it? Everybody is different, and what works for one person might not work for another. The side effects put a lot of people off the idea entirely, and the topic is rarely discussed by athletes and celebrities who endorse nootropics. Does that mean they don't get any side effects? Probably. But taking a chance based on their work alone is a hefty risk to take with your own health. You're always better off doing your own research and speaking with your doctor about nootropic supplements, both natural and synthetic, if you're really itching to take your brain functions to the next level. Like this video? Then give us a like and check out more like it on the Be Inspired channel. Subscribe to us for more educational and inspirational content and ring the bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.